Hello, I'm Ted Williams. We're at the Hancock Shaker Village in Hancock, Massachusetts. And we're at the machine shop. Um, one half is the laundry, one half is the machine shop. And it was all ran by this water turbine since 1858. Before that, it was a big 20-foot overshot water wheel. There's a tunnel that's this wide and about that deep that goes from here all the way to the tree line to get rid of the water. The reservoir is right across the street behind the tree line. It's as big as the round barn, and we get all our water from the hills behind us where the North family was. There were two dams up there, a high dam and a low dam. The high dam is where the shakers got their fresh water from. Then it went through a sawmill that replaced this sawmill, then to a lower dam. And from the lower dam, it splits three ways. A big 16-inch pipe that goes from the lower dam to the reservoir to maintain its level, and then to a carding mill, and then to a grinding and thrashing mill. So uh, the water wheel that was here used over 50 gallons a second, was maybe 10% efficient. Where this water turbine uses 8 gallons a second, 60% efficient, and when we start this up, it's at 900 RPMs. Because water mills always go in a slow rotation, and that is for a reason. Because as one bucket fills up and it goes to another one, the system jerks. So you go slow and um, you lessen the jerkiness. Where this turbine has a, two discs with blades on the peripheral of it, and we always have pressure on it and velocity, and that's how we start up more at 900 RPMs. Go for it. You'll have to put on the overhead. Just move that lever towards me. So, yep. so we do lathe work just like the shakers did. There's two wheels together. One is freewheeling. One is hooked to the shaft, so when we move these levers over, it goes from one wheel to the other. And that's how we get things off and on. Now, sh Shaker Chairs has marks on them, and that's where they did the drilling for the, uh, for the rungs and the back uh, slats, and they just mark it on a lathe, just like this, and that's how they did it. Because we the band saw. Just move it over slow. Alright. This band saw came from Sabbath Day Lake which is the last Shaker Village. And the brother who used this all the time used to make uh, Shaker boxes. And we get the wood thin by running it through the bandsaw. There we go. Thank you for coming here today and visiting Hancock Shaker Village. 
And uh, remember, April is Baby Animal Month, so come visit us this coming April. And thank you.